All right, thanks, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me for another episode of The Fast Lane, your podcast for success. It's been a little bit. That's okay. We're back, and we're going to be talking about some real-world ideas to grow your financial future, uh, to help set you on that path, the one that you've been waiting for. Um, You know, a lot of people have ideas and you know they do the right thing and they meditate and they you know basically um uh, you know confer with uh, their peers uh, all that's good all that is great and that's how you get things started um but sometimes you just got to reach out and say hey you know I got to do this and but you don't know what to do so I get to thinking about it because I talked to a person the other day and they were talking about their business model and their business model was derived from someone that they knew. And so they just basically said, I'll adapt what they do and make money. Um, so, you know, I was like, okay, does it work? He goes, well, you know, uh, the guy's making, you know, 300,000 a year. Uh, probably we will make more than that next year. He showed me his statements. So why wouldn't I give it a try? I'm like, absolutely right. Absolutely right. Um, give it a try. If that's what your goal is, is to make money. And I know a lot of people want to make more than that. Um, but that's a, that's a good start when, you know, you're, you know, you're making, you know, whatever, you know, at a job, um, you, you know, a little sense of freedom. Um, so he took what this person offered and implemented it and says, okay, I can do this. But my point here is that sometimes you've got to look again at the real world. Um, there are plenty of resources for ideas. So for example, this person's friend lived in Miami. This person lived, I think in Ohio so, you know, you got to go, well, you know, will it work for me in this city, in this state? Well, chances are, yeah, if you, if you do it right. But then again, there are people doing things in other parts of the world that are making money. So don't, don't be limited to your surroundings and to the people that are around you and the people that are doing the same old things that you're doing. Step outside that box and look and see what's going on are you committed to you know like uh fortune magazine entrepreneur magazine you know things that you can get ideas from spur creativity are you asking enough people are you reading enough books are you listening to enough people in finance there's plenty of ideas out there you just got to gravitate to the ones that perk your interest, to the ones that say, you know, I, I can do that. Then that doesn't sound half bad and go after it. It could be something small that you build. You could jump in with both feet. It doesn't matter as long as you get started and you get going. The real world is the world that we live in. You know, all of the, all of the potentiality that you have can just get stuck and then that's all that you've got is potential and potential without action isn't worth diddly squat so it's good that you got the potential you got the know-how you got the want the drive the desire at some point you got to do it you got to just say all right i'm doing it you know how do i do it you know i know people that have gone to their local college and, you know, taking courses just so they can get close to, you know, in business so they can get close to, you know, the ideas and and to to spur their uh, creativity to get things motivated for them, to get things rolling, to get things moving. You, you have to be on the lookout for it, in other words. You got you to gotta look for the areas that perk your interest, the areas that will get you moving, whether it is an ice cream stand, whether you want to sell used cars, whether you want to be a 
travel consultant, whatever it is, you have to realize there's a million things out there that are making money. And money's not that hard to make. You just have to know how to do it, right? Be conscious of it. Be money conscious. Be wealth conscious. If your mind is always thinking of ways to better your income, better your finance, be open to it. And that's another thing. I know that I said you got to live in the real world. Well, you do. But you also have to be open to it because you may hear an idea. You may see uh, something that someone else is doing and go, yeah, that's pretty cool. You know, gosh, I wish I could do that. You can do that. You, you certainly can do that. All you have to do is just jump in. Jump in and do it. There are ways... And, you know, I promise you, no one has done this by themselves. They've all had help somewhere. Somebody. Somebody gave them an idea. Somebody showed them. Somebody, they may have, you know, expound upon it. They may have tweaked it and made it better. And, you know, they may have taken an old idea that wasn't much of a moneymaker and tweaked it where it is a moneymaker. You never know. All I know is if you get the will to want to drive, you can do it. You can certainly do it, but be real. Go out here and look for the opportunities. Go out and look for the opportunities to drive your financial path. That doesn't mean that you get a lot of cheating still. We know that that's a temporary and we don't advocate that. No, long term. You're the long term success story you're the long-term uh, entrepreneur there's countless stories and i love reading these stories of people that were down and out uh you know down on their luck you know giving up hope to the to, that they're ever gonna make it and then something happened and they did something to realize that they could do it they could realize the dreams that they almost gave up on. And that helps too. Reading those stories, listening to those stories of people that have, you know, almost zero odds of winning, but yet somehow they do. And it's all because of the will, want, and drive. You have to will it, want it, and drive for it. No reason not to. No reason in the world not to. So... We will get into a lot of other things uh, moving forward. We're going to be doing a lot more of those. So for the folks that have kind of wondered, uh, you know, why did Derek Lane take a break? Uh, yeah, well, you know, sometimes you just need to. But we're we're back. We're ready to uh, continue this series, Fast Lane Podcast, uh, for your success. And I hope that... Uh, Hope you'll join me for the week in and week out discussions, monologues about your path. And as I've always said, I can't let this go without saying it. As I've always said, pen and paper, write it down. When you come up with an idea or you see an idea, or you hear about an idea, write it down. Because, you know, two days you go, wow, you know, I remember there was something cool I wanted to to look into write it down you don't have to try to rack your brain because you got a lot going on it's a busy world out there it's a humongously busy world and ideas can get lost in the shuffle and for you to stay clear write it down it's an awesome way to go okay so given that very short very sweet um podcast and i thank you guys for tuning in and we will pick this up again next week and i'm gonna have uh, a lot more to to contribute let's just say it that way so for now thank you so much and we will see you very soon and by the way, you can find me on all the major outlets, like and share, and provide this podcast to someone you think could get a benefit from it, not just 
this episode, but many episodes that you've enjoyed. Until next week, enjoy your path.